Welcome! In front of me I have Fitbit Versa Lite and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with a phone via the Fitbit application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue and now we can open the Fitbit application on the phone that is paired with our watch. After you open the application, you should see today page. Now tap on the icon in the top left corner to open the uh, connected to Fitbit page and here you should see VersaLite on the list of devices. Tap on it to select it. Now scroll down and find the a notification option. And let me lower the brightness of the phone a little because it's too bright. Like this. Okay. Find the notifications and tap on it. Here tap on enable notification service. Now scroll down, find the Fitbit application. Once you find it, tap on it. I'll tap on the switch next to allow notification access. Tap on allow and go back to the app. And it should open the notifications and here you should see different types of notifications like calls, um, messages and stuff like that. If you want to enable the notifications for calls, tap on the switch. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed, you will see the pop-ups on the screen and you need to allow the required permissions. Like this. Then we have the text messages. You can turn it on or off. If you see the pop-up about the permission, you will need to allow it. And here you can select the uh, default app. Uh, you can select messages or WhatsApp. Okay, next we have the calendar events. You can enable it and select the default calendar app. Then Gmail or email rather, and you can select default app. And uh, also we have the app notifications. You can tap on it. And here we can select the apps from which you want to receive the notifications uh, on your watch. Basically how it works is if you enable notifications, for example, for Discord by tapping on the box next to Discord uh, and you receive the notification from Discord on your phone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. But if, it, if it's disabled, it won't be forwarded to your watch, so you will see it only on your phone. So enable the notifications for the apps you want. And once you're done, uh, you can go back. And here we can also set up the quick replies if you want to for different apps. You can change them. Another thing you can do is enable always vibrate or enable transliteration if you want to. Okay, so once you're done setting up your notifications, you can also check if they work. To do it, tap on the more options icon and then send test call notification. And it should appear on your watch. Another thing you can do is to simply send the, some kind of message to yourself and see if the notifications work. I enabled the and it's, uh, notifications for Discord, so I'm gonna, se gonna send myself a message on Discord. As you can see, we got it on our uh, phone and also on our watch, so it is working. And that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.